Hey everyone, today we're making minced beef lettuce wraps. But before we get started, I just wanted to show you my plants. Look at these plants. To get started with our lettuce wraps today, let's start with our base, the most important thing, the actual lettuce. Uh, we use butter lettuce, you could use little gems, but our favorite is the butter lettuce. It's like big enough to wrap things up, it's really good. So when you go ahead to put things into your lettuce, you wanna go ahead and start probably with your meat because that's one of the most important pieces of this meal. We're using ground beef, 85 lean, 15% fat. Um, you, we've also used ground chicken and that's been really delicious, but the higher fat content in beef will taste yummier for this recipe because it'll get like crispier. When you're making that beef, you're also going to use a scallion, some garlic cloves, and some fresh ginger. You'll also add in some black pepper and salt later on. Uh, so when we also think about the other delicious things we're putting in these lettuce wraps, we've got our hoisin sauce. It's gluten-free and soy-free. So we use cashew butter. You could use almond or peanut butter. We use instead of soy sauce, the amino, coconut aminos. They're not the same, but it tastes delicious nonetheless. And then we also use some sesame seed oil along with onion powder, uh, salt, pepper, and some garlic powder. And then finally, we have our fresh ingredients. We have an avocado that we'll cut up, red onion, some carrots, scallions, cilantro, and then finally also some coconut chips. You can kind of mix it up with the toppings that you want to use uh, in terms of like, you know, these things. It won't really change the integrity of the recipe so much. It'll just really taste good. So I always recommend like throwing on something that you have in the kitchen already. Um, and I think that's everything we need to cover for ingredients. Let's get cooking. For this dish, we used a cast iron skillet because it's really good at retaining heat, which will be really helpful in browning the meat. So what we'll do here is set the burner on high and let it heat up for about five minutes. Now that your pan is nice and hot, let's add some oil. We use avocado oil, which is a neutral oil that has a high smoke point, which will be really great for this high heat cooking. So one tip to note is that you want the oil to be shining and shimmering before adding in the meat, which we did here. Now at this point, we just want to brown the meat a bit to get little crispy bits, but not too much because we're going to cook it again later to get it even crispier. At this point, I find it useful to grab a splatter guard if you have one because at this high heat, oil starts to splatter around. So if you want to reduce a mess in your kitchen, I recommend grabbing one. So now we've got the meat nice and brown with little crispy bits. And now is a good time to season the meat with some kosher salt and freshly ground black pepper. So now I'm mixing up the meat a bit here to evenly distribute the seasoning. And now what you want to do is drain the meat of any excess fat and moisture. So we've got a colander and bowl under it here, which will be helpful in making it crispier later. Next up, what we're going to do here is brown our aromatics. That is the ginger, garlic, and shallots that we minced up. And here I'm heating up a little dab of coconut oil on medium heat. You don't have to use coconut oil, but we use it because we like a little coconut flavor in our lettuce wraps, which gives it a more Southeast Asian flavor profile. Now that we've got the aromatics browned, we want to turn the heat all the way back up to high heat because we're going to toss the meat back in to integrate the flavors. 
What we're going to do is keep stirring it around for a few minutes until we get it nice and crispy, but not burnt. Also, what I like to do is continue chopping down on larger chunks to make the meat more minced. The meat has gotten to a nice brown and crispy point, and what we like to do now is throw in some Thai basil for some extra, extra Southeast Asian flavor. I know we didn't recommend it in the ingredients earlier, but this is definitely a nice touch if you can find some. So now our meat is done. And zooming in, you can see that the meat looks crispy with some brown bits, which will be really tasty in the lettuce wraps. And on to the final step, we finished making our beef. We've already cut up all of our toppings. All we have left is the sauce. So go ahead and get some cashew butter. If you have about two people, I would say probably um, this amount of heap. <laughs> Just like maybe these two table, three, four-ish tablespoons if you're being super precise. And then pour in some coconut aminos. I would say that you do a lot, probably about a quarter cup to a third of a cup. If you have a whisk, I don't necessarily suggest using it. I've tried to do this with a whisk so many times and it's just been a pain. Believe it or not, the fork is the best. It just like gets in there and allows you to mash and just really mix it up. So now we wanna add in the sesame oil. Probably about a tablespoon ish you can do less if you want i do a couple pinches of salt we might we will taste test this to see if we want more remember this is kosher salt so it's not as salty as table salt if you're using something like table salt salt use less i would say probably a quarter tablespoon of garlic and onion powder maybe a little bit more this can all be the two taste also and some black pepper. If you have coconut vinegar, you can also add that. We just don't happen to have any right now. You could use apple cider vinegar or rice vinegar if that's something that you're okay with eating. Um, and then you just kind of like mix this up. All right, so you can see consistency is a little bit runnier. You can keep it creamier if you want. I think this is how we like it though, so that we can dribble and have a little bit more like uh, precise. So you want to taste test? Oh, that's really good. That's your sauce. And I think we've just set the table so we can get ready to eat. Now it's time for construction of our delicious food. So I'm gonna take a nice piece of butter lettuce. Let's get that crispy beef in there. You can see the basil. Just kind of put it in there, nice. Crispy. Get a good handful. And then what I like to do is start with onions, kind of like, you know, your tacos here. This is basically your healthy Asian influenced taco. And I put some cilantro, like that, some carrots. Just go like, bam! Get some green onion in here. An avocado, maybe another one. I like my avocado. And then um, a little bit of toasted coconut. Looks good already. And then let's not forget our amazing hoisin sauce. Put it in like that, boom, 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 boom. And then these are some specialty things that I like to add, I got some Sambal hot sauce from Hoi Fong Foods. So shout out to San Gabriel Valley 66. And uh, put some of that on top. Bow, bow, bam. Oh, 
And lastly, let's put some sesame seeds. Like, why not, right? There you have it. I'm gonna take a bite. And 